Good evening. Thank you so much for taking just a few moments to listen to this message. Normally at this time, we have our adult midweek Bible study. Tonight, we won't be having that study uh, per se, but I did want to come to you and share with you a word from God's Word. Tonight, we normally would be going through the life of Paul. However, tonight, our church family will be gathering um, in a family hour for a lady in our church who passed away last week. Our hearts are sad, but we know this, is that we are comforted in Jesus. See, Jesus said in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. The Lord was ready for our sister. He was ready for Sister Ann to come home. Not a moment early and not a moment late. God was ready. And I can tell you this, knowing her testimony and knowing who she was, she was ready to be with Jesus. But our hearts hurt. Jesus said it best when He said, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Now, more than ever, we need God's comfort from on high. We need the comfort that only He can offer us. I like what Paul would tell the church of Thessalonica in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. He said this when he said, But I do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do who have no hope. I want you to know today that you can have a hope in Jesus Christ. The Bible is very clear in John, uh, I'm sorry, in Romans chapter 3, verse 23. All have sinned and uh, come short of the glory of God. Every single man, woman, boy, and girl is a sinner. Romans 6, 23 would say this, is that it says, But the wages of our sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You see, God's offered every man, woman, boy, and girl a gift. And it's up to us whether or not we want to receive it. Tonight, I want to plead with you, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, would you bow and ask Him to come into your heart? Would you confess your sins to Him? Would you allow Him to save you today? See, today, maybe you do just that very thing. I, I want to ask you to share that with somebody. Because others need to know that you have hope. Yes, tonight we grieve. But we're glad and we're blessed to know that the sun will rise again and Jesus is coming again. God bless you and have a great week. Tune in with us next week as we continue our study through the book of Acts. God bless you and have a good night.